Hey everyone, and welcome to the Hemp Horticulture Series. Today, we'll be showing you how to make feminized seeds with colloidal silver. When it comes to making feminized seeds with colloidal silver, there are a number of conflicting reports on the techniques to do so. So here, I'll just be going over what I've tried and what works for me after testing out a number of these techniques on multiple plants. We're going with colloidal silver first for this guide because it's by far the easiest option when it comes to making feminized seeds as it's non-toxic, it's safe to the touch, and can both easily be bought or made with some simple tools. And when it comes to buying or making your own, I would recommend making your own as we've covered how to do this in the previous ProTech video and the only time I've been completely unsuccessful in producing a hermaphrodite plant was when I was using an over-the-counter colloidal silver that apparently just did absolutely nothing. As for the parts per million of the colloidal silver, I've read a lot of conflicting information with the minimum requirements, some say at 15 parts per million, but I recommend anywhere between 30 to 100 parts per million, which is pretty easy to both find over the counter or produce. Now as for application, you can start applying the colloidal silver to your plants late in the vegetative stage if you want to be safe. But I found that as long as you apply the colloidal silver liberally to the plant up to the day before switching the plant from the vegetative stage to the flowering stage, it'll have the same effect as applying it earlier. And of course for automatic plants, since it's a lot harder to gauge when the plant is going to switch, I recommend starting the application early on in the vegetative stage just to be safe for when to apply colloidal silver during the day, I recommend doing it twice. Once right before the lights turn on, and once right before the lights turn off. For application, right when the lights turn on, do a really light spray on the plant. And for the application, right before the lights turn off, you can do a much heavier spray on the plant. The heavy application right before the lights turn off will help ensure that the plant is getting enough colloidal silver to block the ethylene production throughout the day while preventing any leaf damage from any beads of colloidal silver build up on the leaves since it will be absorbed by the time the lights are back on again. Also remember that the application of colloidal silver is localized, which means that only the areas of a plant that have been in contact with the colloidal silver will grow pollen sacs. This means that if half the plant is sprayed and the other half is not, only half of that plant then will grow pollen sacs, and in turn, it can pollinate itself to create feminized seeds without the need of a second plant. Now as for when to stop using colloidal silver, there are two schools of thought on this. Some people recommend to stop spraying once the pollen sacs have appeared, and others recommend spraying until the pollen sacs are at full maturity and begin to open up. After trying both of these options, as well as stopping in the middle of these options, I found that both methods work pretty equally in the sense that I've had a couple of failures trying both of these methods, but most of the time, both methods will lead to pollen sacs that produces some pollen. So let's talk about the success rates. After trying to make feminized seeds more than a dozen times with colloidal silver, in the end I have about a 80% success rate of them actually producing enough pollen to pollinate another plant. And in general, pollen sacs from hermaphrodite plants will produce significantly less pollen than ones from male plants. And while there's usually enough so you can still visually see it when the pollen sacs start to open up, sometimes there's so little pollen that it's not even visible 
although when placed next to a female hemp plant, there's still enough to produce seeds. So even if it looks like your pollen sacs are empty, you should still try to place it next to some female flowers. And then give it a couple of weeks to see if any seeds are forming on the buds. However, like I said before with the success rates, there are a few times when the pollen sacs are just producing absolute blanks. And usually happens when I'm trying to make feminized seeds with some hot new genetics. So it really does seem like some strains just have a better chance of producing pollen. And for those wondering, I made feminized seeds from a female plant that came from a normal seed. I've also made feminized seeds from a plant that started from a feminized seed. And of course, I made feminized seeds from a female clone. So no matter where the female plant comes from, with colloidal silver, it can be used to make more feminized seeds. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.